Welcome back to the channel. This is JT at Rubber City Motoring here. More on the HHR. Today is kind of a step two. If you were watching my first video, uh, which was pretty easy, it was the high flow intake from ZZP. Now we're going to pair that with these, they call these the GM Stage 1 sensors. Here's their info. These fit uh, in two spots. One's on the intake, one's on the lower pipe down there. The top one's super easy, the bottom one's a little trickier. But the reason for these, the way I'm told, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, more reliable, just easier to tune with, that sort of thing. And they recommended it when I was talking to them about uh, this, this little upgrade here. These sensors are, they only fit one of each too. These connectors are different on each one, so you can't really mix them up. And then they did give green O-rings here, um, which I don't really know if those are required, but they are, there are black ones on here. So I'm gonna mess with it and see which ones fit best and, and go from there. So here we go. You're going on this adventure with me and we're gonna see how it goes. Some people like to notch things, uh, chisel things away. Uh, you know, file things down. So we'll just see how this fits. These aren't that complicated of a setup. They're just a simple sensor uh, that, that fits into the, the spots, kind of uh, not a force fit, but they're pretty tight in there. So we'll kind of mess with this and see what happens here. Let's get the easy one out of the way first. Now, as you watched the last video, I don't have the air intake on here anymore. So it's a little bit more open. Doesn't really affect this though. It's a push clip here to remove. Push and pull. 10 millimeter bolts here. Two of them. Let's get these out of there. And then we'll compare this sensor to the new one. Stock one right here has a blue O-ring in it. And two bolt holes. And there's the connector. And here's our Bosch. One bolt hole has a blackish looking O-ring. I'm going to attempt to use what's on there. Did a little research. I really don't know what the greens are for. They do look smaller. We'll see if I can get this one to actually sit down before going to that smaller one. So there it is. I attached that right bolt right there and I just put the other one in the hole just so, I mean, it's no sense losing it. The black O-ring on there, it fit right in. It was real tight and then I gave it a little shove and it's pretty darn flush on there. Pigtail adapter, whatever you want to call it, is on there, and we should be good to go for that one. Now we move to the fun one, the bottom one. Six and a half hours later. Well, that took a minute. So basically down below, there are three 13 millimeter bolts on each side. I loosen those. Then I loosen the top two 10 millimeter bolts up there and there, which you're basically just loosening the radiator. And that gave me just enough room to go in through the bottom and loosen uh, the screws that hold this map sensor right here. I actually used just a hand little mini screwdriver. Actually, I'll show you what I used here. Left it under here. I used this thing of all. <laughs> Never used these. This was like a a stocking stuffer one year and I put that I could reach that in there and turn it by hand they weren't very tight and they just turned into plastic thank god so here's the old blue o-ring this time and then here's the new right here so once again though if we compare we've got two bolts to one on the Bosch yeah a little bit different. So I'm going to have to finagle this one up in there and see. It's a little different. It doesn't have that offset turn like this one did. So I have seen online where people have had it where it kind of runs into things. So I'm going to fit it up into there, get it caught to start, and then we'll see how the wiring works from there. Not easy though. Probably the most tricky part of this whole thing. I've done cold air intake, these, and this was tricky. It's not that it's that tight in there, but man, it's just a weird little spot. And if you're changing that that charge pipe, you, you're gonna be in for a fun fun job there, taking all sorts of stuff out to get the room, probably front bumper and all sorts of stuff. So let's get this one in there and I'll explain it probably afterwards here. 
So as I stated, this one was the trickier of the two map sensors. I removed those three bolts there, 13 millimeter, and then I removed the three over here as well. That allowed enough room to basically push the radiator back and I actually wedged a little piece of wood in here to kind of hold it, well not back, I wedged it forward towards the front of the car. And then I could reach up with that little screwdriver and put it in there. The connector on that map sensor is super tricky to deal with. It just wasn't exactly ideal, but you can see it poking out through. The other problem is it's not a 90 like the factory one is. It comes straight out right there. So I did like a zip tie move where I zip tied it up in sort of a 90 degree fashion. You can see the zip tie there. And then I also wrapped the wires, sorry, in electrical tape so they don't rub. But right there's the unit. Not, <laughs> this is super tricky to show you. You can see it right there though. See if I can go up anymore. Not right, it's right there. So it's in, I can see, you can see the connector there at the sort of top of your screen. It did go, it's in and Hopefully we're good to go. So that's going to do it for the, ZZP calls it the GM Stage 1 map sensors. They're just the Bosch's here. They look like so. Like I said, recapping the top was super easy. Bottom, not so much. Everybody claims you can get it from the top here, which you got to have a really skinny, long arm to get in there. Some people move the overflow tank. Some people remove the bumper i mean if you're getting to that lower charge pipe though i, I will say it it runs like roughly this way i believe um man that's that is in there like you, you'd be smart to pull wheels bumper all sorts of stuff but so as i stated if you watch the intake video this is kind of like my step two of three so i'm going to end it there because that this is just basically a map sensor video my third video or my third step here is I do have a tune from ZZP. These map sensors won't just work. Like you can't just put these in there and expect something to happen that good. It's going to run badly. It's not tuned for those. Um, and, and, you know, with these little pigtail adapters, they, they plug right in. Factory, back when this car came out, that stage kit, they rewired it and all this stuff. And uh, I've just heard it's not the best. But either way... Check out ZZP for these. I'll put a link below to that. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and best of luck with your map sensor install.